Morning guys, how are we doing? Yes, we asked you yesterday if you would like any questions answering about our move from uh, Corfu back to Leeds after 17, 18 years of living on Corfu. You came up with a varied, uh, varied interesting questions, uh, mainly, you know, fours and against, why did we move? Uh, anyway, the first one I'm going to start with is from Patricia and it's about coping with the cold. Patricia, you wouldn't believe how cold it can get on Corfu in the winter. Uh, we can hit minus figures on Corfu regularly. Hey Em, you're right. Yeah. Uh, we can get minus figures quite regularly on Corfu. A lot of the rental uh, houses aren't, uh, aren't fitted out for the cold weather in Corfu. So it can feel very cold and specifically damp in Corfu. Whereas now we're in the UK, we've got some central heating, we've got double glazing. Um, yeah, the winter, uh, the winter weather here, um, you, you've got the comfort, we've got the comfort now. Uh, M, as in when we're out and about, now everybody seems to be coping quite well. Uh, coats and, um, coats and scarves and hats and woolies, just like everyone else, I guess. Um, next one we'll go into is, uh, fours and against, since why, why did we move? Why did we move? We moved because... Uh, basically, it was the right time for us. Unfortunately for Sarah and I, uh, we lost both our mothers within about a year. Uh, and uh, family's become a little bit more important. Not that it ever wasn't, but it's become more important. And so we wanted to spend more time with family, which uh, basically made sense to move back to the UK. Uh, various other reasons. I was diagnosed with skin cancer last year and had a small tumour moved from my back. So it would seem really quite stupid to live in a country where it's very warm and very hot. One of the questions asked a lot when you move from one country to another, it basically is, is, is why did you do it? Did you not, do you not like where you live? And it's got nothing to do about not liking where you live. It's, it's to do about liking more the place that you're going to or what you need in your life at that particular time. Uh, when we were in Corfu, Corfu is what we needed. We, uh, we still love Corfu, passionately, um, but it was our time to move to the UK. Uh, we needed some stability for Emma, we needed stability for ourselves, uh, and financially as well, it makes more sense to live in the UK, which kind of goes into our, uh, our next uh, question, is the comparison, price comparison to living in Corfu and uh, the UK. I will wrap this up very simply by saying the only thing that's more expensive. M, I think you're gonna find that you're gonna bring that. Yeah, do you want to come down from there, M? Well done. You're making me nervous. You're making me nervous. Come and sit with Dad. Come and sit with Dad, that's it. Uh, yeah, where were we? Price, yeah, I'll wrap it up by simply saying the only thing that's more expensive in the UK is rental. Rental is by far a lot more expensive, but everything else, works out cheaper. Sarah and I go to the shops, can't believe it, we still go, oh my God, it's only a quid, oh my God, that's only 89 pence, oh my God, 14, oh my, oh my, it's, it's constant. And, um, and the choice and variety of shopping, it's amazing, you know? Uh, yeah, amazing. Uh, next question, where can we go to next? Uh, my sister, best thing about living in the UK, the best thing about living in the UK, uh, having lived away. Uh, Karen, my dear sister, the best thing, playing golf again. Yeah, playing golf again, regular. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, no, uh, family. Family, that's why. Being closer to family and having you near me uh, is definitely the most, uh, the best thing about living in the UK. What about you, Sarah? Uh, shopping and family. Yeah, shopping and family. So it's kind of like golf, shopping and family. Uh, in the reverse order, of course. Family, golf, shopping uh, for me. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's wonderful, Karen. Thank you for asking that. What else have we got? School and kids. Uh, Christopher was the only one that came over with us. Uh, Rebecca's living with, had moved in with her boyfriend. She's nearly 19 now and she's off and running on her own life, uh, which is good for her. And uh, she's happy staying in Corfu for the moment. Uh, Christopher, he's here. 
He's just finished, he was finished his school at 16 in Corfu. He's now moving on. He's looking at some apprenticeships at the moment and signing up uh, for all these apprenticeship things. And Emma, of course, she's got another year before we can uh, sort her out. Uh, but I think being in the UK, having seen the Corfu education system, the Greek education system, uh, definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, I'm happy to bring Emma to the UK. What else have we got? We've covered why do we move, fours and against, winter compared, uh, cost of living, best thing about Emma coping with. We've pretty much covered everything. There was no specific reason. Uh, there was lots of little reasons. And it was just right for us at the time. Not because we dislike Corfu at all. Uh, and not because when we when, when I moved out from the UK, it was certainly wasn't because I'd fallen out with the UK. I'm really looking forward to being in uh, Leeds uh, long term again. Uh, it, it's gonna, it, it gives you more opportunity and that's what we all need right at the moment in our lives. Uh, one last question was pace of life. The pace of life, how different is the pace of life? Uh, and do we feel as though we've joined the rat race again? No, I don't feel as though I've joined the rat race again just yet. Um, it, maybe it's a honeymoon period, I don't know. Uh, Sarah, honeymoon period, probably a little bit. Possibly. We'll wait until we've done nine to five for yeah, a bit and yeah. see if that but, changes. But this is one of the aspects that I'd like to get across to people as well, is that it is what it is. It's what you make it. And for me at the moment, getting up, taking the dog out for a long walk, enjoying playing golf and various other things, Sarah settling in and watching the kids settle in and having the choice, it's really, really enjoyable to see being a little bit more empowered again because there's more on offer uh yeah rat race no the pace of life is not very different uh if you can feel a little bit hemmed in uh if you're living in a small place whereas in a city you can disappear a little uh obviously not by vlogging uh it's quite the opposite you're putting yourself out there a bit anyway guys thanks a lot for your questions i think i've covered everything if you've got any further questions just ask away Em's now eating one of my payslips for this evening because uh, I've got a job this evening working at a wedding in Ilkley, uh, which should be fun. Although my back seized up earlier on, so uh, we'll have to see how it goes. Anyway, guys, thanks again. Thanks for tuning in to Leeds Live TV. Invite your friends, invite everybody else. Uh, I think we're going to Kirkstall Abbey next week, so uh, we'll check that out and bring you a report. See you later, guys.